Hi YouTubers. So another product review by DK Goes Wild. As with all the product reviews on my channel, no one sent me the product to review, no one's paid me to review the product, no one's told me what to say about the product. I bought the product with my own money and used the product for a period of time, in this case at least over 12 months before we've done the review video. So you know, or I know, I know this product very well. So uh, on to the review. Cheers. So they come in two models, the 400 CV and the 200 CV. Now the 400 comes with pretty much everything you see here. You get the, the grill, you get them, not quite sure what that bit is for. Uh, you get the hot plate, you can either have it on the grill side, it makes put nice little lines on your meat, or the uh, standal griddle. And then you've got the that a gas burner where you can put your kettle on etc and this comes with a wok which we have never used within about the first weekend we took it away the bolt started coming off and we've just never used it i wouldn't do a stir fry i think if we went camping but you can do and that's what that's for is for stir frying we tend to basically use the kettle on here and this pan here they're the two we pretty much use Putting it together is easy. Uh, here's some B roll there. It's just the four of uh, the three legs. They fit inside and they just easily screw onto the bottom. And the gas canister again just screws in the hole there. So very simple to use. They're very robust. It's lightweight. Like I say, other than the screws coming off the handle, uh, we've continuously been using this. Lost count, we use it for every single meal. And for the value, I think the 400 has just gone up on price even more recently on Amazon. So it's worth keeping an eye on. I find these probably drop in price during the winter months and during the summer months, like all camping equipment tends to go up. So keep an eye out. If you're interested, I think at the present moment, I think it's like 95 pounds, it's probably too expensive. You can get the 200, which is a lot less uh, and a lot cheaper and it doesn't come uh, with this, uh, it doesn't come with this griddle pan, but comes with a, a, a similar pan uh, where you with a griddle on one side and some slashes on the other. But I, I, I guess if this comes down in price, this is definitely worth it. I can't. I think I paid around about fifty pounds when I first bought this some time ago. Uh, but it's definitely value for money. That you can get the more expensive uh, one that plugs into a gas tank, etc. I like the fact that this is total portable and we can take it away camping. These are not that expensive. I said about eight or nine pound each, buy them in bulk. They come down in price. Uh, and because we use and we camp, we cook pretty much outside most of the summer, this does get used a hell of a lot and we really recommend it. Uh, and it's lasted. So it's a good product. So get a DK thumbs up. You know, it's not just for baking sandwiches and brews. You can also make some really nice toasties on the camping gas grill. That's okay. You've got your brie tomatoes, got a bit of salami, bit of brie tomatoes for the meat man eater. Let's put a couple of man eater. Put them all on there. And then we're just going to put our tops on. And see what these look like when they're grilled on the camp gas. So. so 
So I think these will be our new snacks in the van. What do you think? Really nice. Mm. The breeze nicely melted, the toast nicely toasted, with a bit of tomato and meat in there. I think onions would have done better. I could have done oh, with an onion. No. No. You don't like mm. onions, I do like onions. It's like a bit of spice. Mm. You could put some of the sriracha sauce in. Yeah. But uh, yeah, easy on your gas grill. Sausages. Notice the vegetarian sausages are not touching the meeting sausages at all. So there you go, another video and another product review. And as you can tell, I really like the camping gas one, so recommend it. So if you like these videos, please click like, subscribe, comment below. Do you have a camping gas? If you use something else for cooking outside, what do you use when you're camping and caravanning or motorhoming? Do you cook inside? Do you cook outside? Do you also have any really good recipes that you can recommend for you cooking outside on a camping stove? Please again, comment below, let me know. And also, uh, or just comment below and say hello. And don't forget to click the subscribe, the like, and the notification button. It really helps me, it helps the channel, and it keeps me motivated in producing more and more products and more and more uh, videos, etc. For you guys and ladies and everyone else so give me some love click the like thanks a lot everyone